Hey now, Lathater here with a guide to jungling Venomancer. With the armor type change for neutral creeps in 6.87 to soft, Venomancer Plague Wards, which do piercing damage, became twice as effective against jungle creeps. Now, in 6.88, Wards got another damage buff along with the Venomancer Intelligence buff. Altogether, this makes Veno jungle quite effectively. Here, we're going to go ahead and start cutting down the trees with our Quilling Blade when the clock hits zero. At around 15 seconds, we're going to start spamming wards on the cliff above the medium camp. We need to kill the medium camp before the next spawn and stack the hard camp too. Use the Blight Stone here to make sure that the Minus Armor is applied to the creeps that we are attacking with the wards. I like Quilling Blade and Blight Stone as opposed to Iron Talon. You can see marginally faster results with the Iron Talon, but the Minus Armor for ganking when you leave the jungle is much more effective. After stacking the hard camp, shift your focus over to killing that double stack before the next spawn. You should not have any problems killing this double stack and either killing or stacking the medium camp before the spawn timer. Continue to spawn wards and use your clarities when there are no range creeps around and your mana is low. You don't always need to place a ward when it's off cooldown, but instead get a feel for how much damage you're doing and if you need to speed up or slow down before the spawn timer. There's really no need to waste extra mana here just for the sake of putting wards down. Go ahead and kill the medium and hard camp yet again. This time there should be enough time for you to rotate over to the other medium camp and get a stack off. Now you could go ahead and get a second point in Poison Sting, which would make jungling just a little bit faster, but instead, getting that point in Gale will allow you better ganking potential once you hit level 6. Rotate back to your initial position for one more go at the two camps, then head back over to your double stack and wait it out until you can stack it one more time. Toss a bunch of wards down to the west of the camp and kite the creeps, letting the wards do most of the work killing them. This stack should put you at level 6 before the 5 minute mark. With a Bassy Ring, Blystone, Tranquil Boots, and a TP, you should be able to head over to whatever lane you want to pop in and release some Poison Death. Thanks for watching, there are a lot of heroes I want to make jungle guides for this patch. Hopefully these pictures turn into links to other videos sometime sooner rather than later now that I have a little bit more free time. Also, if you like comedy and variety shows and maybe you're an old Attack of the Show fan, you should totally check out The Attack on twitch.tv slash The Attack every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4pm Pacific time. I work on the show and we're going places. Thanks again, you're awesome.